Hey guys, Monster Bowser Fan 302, as you can see. Yeah! Uh, it's okay. And, um, I was experimenting with the new cobblestone walls. I didn't know what they did at first. But, um, anyways, back to the point of the video. Um, my next creative thing is I made a town, as you can see. Um, here's the house. And for sale, 40 iron ingots or 90 cobblestone. And inside the house... There's an awesome wood plank pattern, two beds, two crafting tables, two skeleton skulls. And here it's the chest, and then there's a jukebox, and there's all the records in here. So anybody wants to join my server, I don't, I didn't really not set it up as a server yet, but um, here's a mob trap, it's the void. Because I'm in a super flat world, so I could build this town. But as you can see, right when you descend below the blue, it's black. And everything gets darker suddenly while you're in it, okay. Um, anyways, here's Townieville Hotel. This is very fun. This is the biggest thing I made. Um, prices. Um, if you can read the prices. Um, room prices. Rooms 200 to 201 are 10 iron ingots per night. And I'll show you why. These rooms are identical, so, yep. There's a small chest, crafting table, furnace, and bed. And a glass pane window. Here's our pool. It says shallow, deep, and very deep. But since it's in super flat, I can't necessarily go any deeper than that without hitting bedrock. Here's the hot tub. Oh, it feels so good. Okay. I didn't necessarily get a pool admission price since you can just go in the pool like normal hotels. But, um, yeah, I used the sideways log trick for this. And who muted the volume? Oh, my God, my back. Oh. Alright. Now, if you can, you can... Oh, pots or boxes. Yeah, it makes a cool noise. Um, back to reading this. Rooms 202 to 204 are 15 iron iron ingots per night. And they all pretty much look like this. There's crafting table, large chest, bed, and furnace. Plus, each of these rooms has a cool little balcony. Um, and in each chest, there's some goodies. This is this is just potion, bunch of potions. So, you go around the hallway. That's the ultra sweet. We're gonna cover that later. Um, two, 203. Same deal. Same balcony. Um, there's diamond sword, clock, and compass. Now, finally, room 204. It's all squeezed together, but there's a perk. Well, there's a bunch of farming stuff in there. There's a perk. It's the only room with a ladder up to the roof. And if you keep seeing that statue in the background, we'll, I'll cover that, too. Um, and then... And the ultra suite is 35 iron ingots on a three night claim. So you can claim this room for three nights for 35 iron ingots. Ultra suite, two crafting tables, two furnaces, a fireplace, two beds, a chest with some awesome treasure in it, and then a jumbo balcony with two little lounging chairs. Did he even sit down? You don't sit down in this game. Well, you can hit shift to crouch. And there's a bunch of different prices for room service in this book. But I'm just gonna leave it as that. And that's my hotel. Um, this is just the little mini jungle that I spawned. Uh, this is the library. I'll write random book and quills and put them in this chest, but so far all I've got is who made me? And I'm not going to read that. I might on another episode, but I'm not reading that now. Because I don't I just simply don't have enough time. I forgot to put ladders leading up, but this is our, this is a statue of our first mayor. There's some torches and a trident. And then you can go inside the, it's like, it's like a museum inside the mouth, but I, 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 while I'm flying, I can't get up here. Oh, I wonder why. And the mayor's name is Zelda, by the way. 
scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Here's the sword used by Zelda to destroy slimes. And then that's a Zelda's gardening tool. This is just something weird that I put in. I don't know. I just have... Uh -huh. Shut up. Anyways. I thought that you were going to make your house in this. Nope. I don't necessarily need to have a house. This I'm not really going to use this world anymore because it's on a different computer. So I'm not really going to use it anymore. Just use it because this morning Grandma was using the other... This is weird. I, I used to have drool going out of it. But, <laughs> Ethan, it wasn't that gross. It was creepy. Yeah. And this is the sword fighting arena. There's a ladder on each side. So you can come up and once some people join my server, um, I'll put in admission price and price to actually be a fighter. But this is my sword fighting arena. As you can see, you can burn to death. So don't do that. No, so that is a really good idea. And uh, I guess that's my town. And I'm going to wrap this video up by jumping into the void. No! You're going to die! That's the point. No, it isn't. Down, 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 down. Hey, wait! <laughs> I spawn right in my town. Because this is my spawn point. Nice. Alright, see ya. Ooh.